Welcome back to Ferocious Education. This is Ed. Today we're talking about a stock that I do like out of a whole pool of stocks that I do. This stock here I do believe is undervalued in my own opinion and has a lot of growth opportunities. Now I'm going to dive towards the recent presentation, upcoming milestones, and a bit of technical analysis. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So Highland. This is the third quarter 2021 conference presentation and they do show some of the third quarter 2021 highlights. So first off, they give a look back on the progress and accomplishments. Their hyper truck ERX roadways is oncoming and the upcoming hyper truck ERX milestones and their EX product launch and update as well as talent addition and facility expansions update and finance update. So some of the, some of the companies Lookbacks. So they formed Hypertruck Innovation Council to actively support development of Hypertruck terrain and unveiled improved hybrid EX power terrain in the new Hypertruck ERX iteration and uh, or at the ACP or ACT Expo. They delivered the first hybrid EX unit to the Westerner or Werner Enterprises and they also added 4019 members during the third quarter bringing the year to date to over 150 new employees. Now what we get to see as well is there are opportunities for fleets to experience the Hypertruck ERX uh, firsthand under the roadway co uh, kickoff and the goal is to provide ride-alongs and in-depth education on Hypertruck's ERX's features and benefits. They also begin with the first stop at Wegmans Headquarter Innovation Council member and Hybrids customers. So they plan to host more fleet showcases events in Austin, Texas headquarters. So the Hypertruck ERX fleet update. So they secured so far a 40-unit Hypertruck ERX reservation from Moen Transport, a Texas-based carrier company. And Moen Transport is an early adopter of Highland's hybrid solution. Now, Green Path Logistics requested to further collaborate with Highland, plan to begin initial deployment of controlled fleet trials in their operations. With Green Path's fleet based in Dallas, Texas, Highland's team is able to closely, closely monitor these trucks to ensure a positive vehicle experience as the fleets begin trial. Now, after driving the vehicles at Highland's headquarters and going for a ride in the highway, I immediately knew that this vehicle would change the landscape of trucking as we know it today. The vehicle was smooth, quiet, and drove like a passenger car as opposed to what we know today as semi-trucks. So that was the CEO of Green Path Logistics. So the shortage causing the long term or long lead times for component deliveries, contributing to extended hybrid EX deliveries and ERX product uh, deployment timelines. Highland has already placed an order for all 2022 deployment trucks and, or development trucks and working to secure 2023 building slots. And they continue to work closely with current and alternative suppliers to improve the component delivery pipelines. So the current milestone that is done or ongoing is build initial showcases unit for fleet right along so it shows the status completed currently they're ongoing with the roadways hyper truck uh, show all the way through december uh, under the innovation council ride along events in the first half of 2022 that's under design verification first off they have to complete the first off the verification vehicle build and then start on road testing off design verification vehicles in the second half of 2022, vehicles deployed into controlled fleet operations and starting the winter testing. Next, launched at the ACT Expo on the 31st of August 2021, this is the EX Hybrid and they delivered the first customer unit to Werner Enterprise. So their design enhancements and simplifications include improved packaging for easier assembly and installation, net system weight reduction, improved overall system efficiency and automatic traction control. And they do give you some information about the third quarter. So first off, investments in research and developments as Highland executes its product developments roadmap, 2021 operations guidance of 110 to 120 million below previously 130, 140 million due to timing delay of truck purchases and lower people related expenses. So SGs and A's increase due to the build out of infrastructure, operational capabilities and talent addition to accomplish these goals. So we get to see here year over year, research and developments is more, it's a lot higher from around 2.9 million to 18.2. The net loss is sitting at 26.6 million compared to 9.1 at a net of around 17.5 million loss difference. Their total available liquidity currently is around 
290 million dollars in cash short-term investments 145 million and long-term 455 million to a total of around 589 million dollars now we're able to go to some of the third quarter updates but a lot of this was actually already mentioned in the presentation but quickly here Today, we begin our Hyper Truck ERX Roadways or Roadshow at the headquarter of Wegmans Food Markets, one of our Hyper Truck Innovations Council members, with a two day showcase event focused on demonstrating the features and benefits of the power terrain firsthand. As we continue to provide these showcases to our Hyper Truck Innovation Council members and other interested fleets, we expect to see continued increases in the customer interest that we have already been receiving so another one here this was posted a little bit later on in 5th of november as well they announced the kickoff for the program itself but we don't have any recent news but we do see some institutional buyers activity so overall i would say the institutional buyer activities has been bullish for the majority of it thousands and millions of shares being added um, a lot of new names as well are on there but now let's move on towards technical analysis but before doing so if you enjoyed this video make sure to click the subscribe button leave notifications on for this channel and dropping the like button now towards technical analysis now under technical analysis this one of course doesn't have much volume so a lot of this technical indicators might be a little bit rough to see but we can at least to see here that this stock has a lot more supply than there's the demand it's definitely brought down in stock in price based on the million percent r also known uh, or similarly known as rsi and the macd here you're able to see a slight curve up it's not really a momentum play in any way for me this is a longer fundamentals play um, and growth potential now for this stock the momentum is incredibly negative right now around negative 2.2 to nine so it might take a few days to stabilize but i myself have actually taken a position into this one uh, previously and also recently as well so taking a look as well into some of the stochastic fast and stochastic slow positions you're able to see that this might be a good time to buy you get to see both of them on the stochastic slow and, and, the, and the fast or bottom down and more of a horizontal line a little bit curving upwards if you're able to see here not sure uh, the zoom in option now, in terms of moving averages, this one is anticipated to trade between 858 in the top, 78 in the middle, and 702 in the bottom. The Bollinger Bands are between 917 and 643. Do anticipate for at least in the shorter term, in the next couple of months or so, to go back to above $7 and perhaps mid sevens and up to eights. So it does have somewhat of a volatility. Generally speaking, the stock was up to $44 before. It's seen some jumps, but really a lot of people have sold generally uh, a lot of the holdings that i'm able to see in terms of percentages were institutional buyers and insiders so retail really doesn't control this as much now in terms of fibonacci retracements we're able to see significant resistances coming up at 1563 2122 2574 3026 3670 and 49 4490 now the only support that i'm able to see is 60 or six dollars and 58 cents now from a price line action we're going to go a little bit closer here and then move backwards the first potential resistance uh, that currently is a support because the stock raised up would be 675 the next support would be around 658 now in terms of resistances maybe the 694 but the real player here would be 732 if it does break it you are likely to see 792 up to 804 and then above there you're able to see a resistance of 848 going up to 911 931 and then going higher to around 997 and then 1032 going upwards to 1079 and then 1139 going up to around 1229 1325 1358 and there's a lot more resistances where that came from the next real one would be 1520 13 1836 my bad 2177 going to 2475 2748 and 3250 now for myself i do see anything below seven dollars is a really nice catch for this one now really depends on the growth i do have uh at least an anticipation that a company like highland where it does really control or try to go all over uh low emissions or no emission trucks or semi trucks 
I do anticipate that this company would generate profit sometime within the 10 years coming and as well capitalize on an ever so growing market. And that is one of my bets in terms of ESG's companies that I'm going for. Now, this company here does seem to have some analyst ratings that is a bit mixed going anywhere from 450 on a price target, which is half of what it is right now, basically, and you have as well up to $12. The average price target is between is right now around 788. Uh, that's one buy, two holds, one sell at an average holdings off hold. Now, what do you think is going to happen here? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. What do you think about the stock? Make sure to mention down in the comments below and have a wonderful day. Now, if you're still here on this video, make sure to drop down below and join our Discord. We have a lot of different things going on, including, for instance, members that give us picks for free. It's not pump and dumps. We just things we think about, swings, etc. We also have really exciting bots. Uh, you can actually use those ones. For instance, we're just testing out this bot, for instance, that gives you Fibonacci resistance points, activities, etc. And we have a bunch of free things, totally free. We run on tips here, and you can ask me questions, suggest stocks, etc. It's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day